service module bulkhead looking forward. Growing up on Florida's Space Coast, Lynn DeMarsh didn't need to study history. Fuel distribution heat shield old engine assembly. She lived it. March 1979, a picture of the shuttle plane somewhere. As a NASA engineer, her father literally left his mark on the space program. He was there in the beginning. When he passed away last year at the age of 100, it was the beginning of a difficult time for Lynn. My dad passed away in March. I got the... Um, Metastasis diagnosis in August. Lynn had been battling cancer off and on for 10 years, and it had returned. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what do I do now? And then my brother passed away. Thanksgiving was pretty lousy. Faced with these setbacks and a new year approaching, Lynn turned to her faith to turn things around. What happened next, she never could have expected. I was kind of praying. I just kept saying, okay. If you're listening up there, <laughs> you gotta give me something. That something turned out to be the results of a DNA test she took late in the year. So on January 1st, I was driving over to my dad's house, as I did, to check on things. And I happened to look at my email, and it said my results were back. So I took a look, and it said British, Irish, French, and German. Quite a shock for a woman whose parents were of Italian ancestry. What's happening there? A short time later, Lynn heard from a woman who claimed to be her sister. She wrote that she too had been searching for a sibling. I learned a few years ago, my mom put a baby up for adoption the day Kennedy was assassinated. Lynn was told she was born to a single mother from Illinois who was sent to live in Florida with her aunt and uncle until she gave birth. They whisked me away. And she didn't even know until I contacted Shelly, my new sister, if I was a boy or a girl. Shortly after that, she was adopted by Joe and Dorothy DeMarsh, who already had an eight-year-old son. Joe worked at the Kennedy Space Center. My dad had pretty high-level security in NASA, so I'm sure he was used to keeping secrets. <laughs> her parents raised her as if she was their own. They bonded almost immediately. Lynn says she was especially close to her father. I always felt me and my dad were... We were the ones that had the connection. It almost makes me love them more that they took me in and always made me feel like family. But never knowing that another family existed and that one of them would one day search for her. She hired a private investigator to try to find me. All that changed in January when she discovered a sister who wouldn't give up and a mother who never forgot. She said that, you know, every year around my birthday, she would think about me and wonder, what happened? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> then in February, Lynn and her sister met for the very first time. They spent nearly a week together in Lynn's hometown of Rockledge. Their bond grew closer. Even though she's still undergoing cancer treatments, Lynn soon plans to travel to Arlington, Virginia, and meet the mother who made that difficult decision all those years ago. She said she feels bad about it, and... I said, hey, don't feel bad. I had a wonderful life. I had everything I wanted, and I had the most dedicated parents possible. Gosh, it's just amazing. I think somebody was looking for me. Now that this has happened, I feel so hopeful. I feel like it's almost as if a chapter in my life closed. And guess what? God gave me a brand new life. So I just, I feel like the future is unlimited now.